Would your religious faith stand in the way of saving your own life? What about your child's life? Faith did stand in the way for survival of Misty Horner, and we have found there is more death connected to the same belief. Is this a cult? Here's KMBC 9's Dan Weinbaum with Dying for Faith. Expected the birth of the child to go so wrong. Sydney Kay would be three months old now. Instead, she's buried next to her mother, Misty Horner. I would think she was blinded by love and by being brainwashed by the Horner belief. That belief was taught to Misty by her husband, police officer Caleb Horner. They met on a job at the Lee Summit Police Department. Misty's parents adored him in the beginning, but things quickly changed. He wanted to totally change her whole life and get her to be submissive, and he did. Misty's new Christian faith would deny her medical care no matter what. It was that belief her family and her best friends say killed Sydney during childbirth and then Misty at this Lee Summit home. They were told by the medical examiner that she was full of septic infection, the same infection that Sydney had. What upsets the family, Misty's husband, a police officer, would not move to take action to save a life, even when fellow officers came to the house on duty to convince him otherwise. They tried to convince Caleb to get Misty help. Caleb kept refusing. They had an ambulance waiting at the end of the street. Misty never took that ambulance ride. Well, she said, it's the horror belief. So I asked Caleb, I said, where did you get your teachings? He said, my brother John. This is video obtained by Nine News of Caleb's brother, John Horner. He was at the house after the stillbirth, hoping for a miracle. He's praying over the baby, talking in tongues, trying to raise the baby from the dead, trying to bring her back from the dead. And which, in fact, he has no power of doing. He is not God. As we looked for the reason why Misty made the choices she did, we found John Horner's name coming up quite a bit. This is not the first death to occur within John Horner's circle of influence. Misty Horner died January 9th, three years ago to the day this girl died because her mother wouldn't take her to the hospital. If you submit to your husband, then God will work everything out to get and I really believe that. When Victory Rose Halbert, a bright, sparkling, five-and-a-half-year-old girl, got very sick, nothing was done because the family followed John Horner's preachings. She wasn't getting better. She was sick for like a week, and uh, she also um, started to spit up blood. And though she was part of a group that shrugged off medical care, Kim's motherly instincts began to kick in. I called a friend to take us to the hospital and um, before she actually got here um, John Horner and a couple other people showed up. Kim says John Horner lit into her with full fire and brimstone. He started yelling at me and um, telling me that she's demonized and telling me that the reason that she's sick is because I have unforgiveness in my heart. Kim's daughter never did go to the hospital. Two mornings later, Victory was dead. Kim has since learned she could have saved her daughter's life if, she says, she had not listened to John Horner. And it's hard to describe the kind of power that he can have over people. And, and now it just sounds stupid, you know, because I feel stupid. It's like, why didn't you just get up and leave? Why didn't you do that? Three years later, Kim still grieves. Yeah. And I blame John. Many people are telling us many things about John Horner, his religion, his influence. Most people would not go on camera. Some are afraid of what he might do. Of those that would talk to us, many believe that he is running a dangerous cult. We tried to talk with John about his preachings. We found him at Misty and Caleb's home, but he refused to answer the door. At his home in Cass County, he would not come to the door, no matter how many times we visited and knocked. Mr. Horner, are you home? We also tried to find him at a new home under construction in eastern Jackson County. We learned it will serve as a church for family and followers. And we did find him where he stores a truck and a trailer, but he took off, not wanting to answer our questions. He told us that Misty died for her sins. Basic underlying precept, of course, is if your faith is strong enough, then God will heal you. Professor Tim Miller studies alternative religions at KU. The idea of rejecting medicine, he says, in the cases of Misty and Victory, while baffling, is nothing new.
Their beliefs may be unusual, but for whatever reason, the content of their doctrine, their personal style, their charisma, whatever, they have managed to gather a following um, and lead them down some paths that seem pretty strange. I don't know if John believes it. I think he's a phony and I can't stand him, but I think the people that follow him believe him. How many innocent women that just want to be close to God are going to be under their spell and brainwashed? How many people are going to die before the police are going to do something about it? Now, no charges were ever brought in the death of Victory Halbert. And to this day, the Lee Summit Police Department says there is no investigation underway in the case of Misty Horner. Other law agencies are not investigating either. Now, the medical procedures performed on Misty may land Caleb Horner and family members in trouble because the Supreme Court ruled in 1990, though we all have religious freedom, it does not transcend otherwise valid laws. So the question remains, were laws broken? The medical examiner's report has not come out yet. We wait to see if any investigation may arise.